Imagine going to downtown Seaford and finding shopping strips, professional buildings, restaurants, and shops all on the Nanticoke River. Well, that is what one developer is hoping to do. Yeah, the development is called the Seaford Town Center at Riverwalk, and tonight the public will get to weigh in. Now, our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Koslov joins us live in front of the Seaford City Hall, and uh, Evan, tonight the public gets to weigh in. Good evening, guys. That public hearing just got started a few minutes ago, and there really has been a lot of buzz around town, and that's why city, city leaders tell me that they're excited, although guarded, in their expectations. This is what the corner of Water and North Street in downtown Seaford looks like right now. Not much there, but that will soon change because as soon as September, developers are planning to turn it into this. Three major apartment complexes right on the water, partially paid for by a downtown development district grant of about $700,000. But now, with more grant money like this in mind, the developers aren't stopping there. Thursday night, they are making their pitch to Seaford Planning and Zoning to build this, a massive center adjacent to the apartment complex, which includes shops, restaurants, a hotel, and a galleria, all right on the water. Why Seaford? Why not Seaford? The developer's architect, Keith Fisher, says this is all about reinvigorating the downtown, which has long been in an economic slump. We hope that it will bring commerce back. We hope that it'll, it'll increase lifestyle of people. We hope that it'll be a, a genesis for all the surrounding neighborhood. And of course, the question with any development like this one is, will you get the tenants? But the developer, David Perlmutter, tells me he's confident not only because they have this view, which would help with the residential properties, but he says he's also in communication with a big fish when it comes to a commercial business. And he says once they land that one, the rest will follow. But this is what we're looking at right now. And at City Hall, WBOC is looking over the plans with Dolores Slatcher, the city manager. In 35 years, this is the biggest project she says she has seen come through City Hall. Yes, I'm optimistic, but I'm also um, being conservative. I'm also a little guarded, okay? And absolutely, if this, if this comes to fruition, it's going to be absolutely one of the best things. Something that's yet to be seen in Seaford. All right, now the developer tells me that they would be investing almost $100 million if that project is approved. By the way, they say that it can be completed and constructed by the end of 2018. Reporting here in Sussex County, I'm Evan Kozloff, WBOC News, back to you. All right, Evan, thank you. Now, tonight's meeting will be the first of four public hearings in the city. Tonight's planning and zoning hearing began just a few minutes ago at City Hall. Now, in a couple of weeks, on August 25th, the City Council will hold their public hearing as well. Now, the developer will then have to return to both planning and zoning and City Council for final approval down the road in Sussex County.